I just completed Armored Core 6, I beat the final boss and got one of the first endings, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on the game after playing it for over 40 hours. So first of all, I just wanted to say that I think it's an okay game. It's not bad, but it's not spectacular or a masterpiece like Elden Ring was. It's an okay game, and I feel like there were plenty of flaws with the game that kind of held it back from becoming a masterpiece. When I first finished the game, I was kind of shocked at how it was already over so quickly and I didn't really feel like I was even playing the game a lot. I started playing the game last Friday and now it's Tuesday and I was just kind of playing the game casually, not really trying to beat the main campaign as quickly as possible. I was taking my time, I was grinding some of the older missions, replaying the older missions to save up money so I could buy new parts for my mech and I was experimenting in the arena so I wasn't just completely gunning for the ending and only doing the campaign but after only playing the game for like five days I seem to have managed to beat the entire game already and I feel kind of disappointed that number one the game was so easy because it's supposed to be like a, a from software game and the famous for making really difficult souls like games and I know this is not a souls like but it's from from software so I was expecting that this game is going to be really challenging but the game just wasn't really that challenging I did get stuck on a few bosses for a couple of hours but apart from that I managed to just blaze through the majority of the game without any difficulties and I actually beat the very final boss after just attempting it once. Now I know there's NG plus and NG plus plus and I've heard that you get different endings and there's some few extra new missions after doing NG plus plus but I don't really feel motivated to get the other endings. I don't really want to play through the entire game all over again just so I can unlock a different ending when I didn't really care that much about the story in the first place. Actually I have no idea what was going on in the story. For some reason after I beat a game and I finish the final mission and I defeat the final boss I lose all interest in playing that game anymore. I don't really care if I could replay the missions and try and improve my rank or do arenas and see if I can get a better score or do PvP. The game is kind of dead to me after I finish the final mission and I complete the main story. Same with Diablo 4, when I finished the campaign and I finished the final boss, even though you could grind up to level 100 and do nightmare dungeons, I just kind of lost all of my motivation to carry on playing the game. So first of all, when I initially started the game, I was really intrigued with the world and excited to see what kind of story the game was going to throw at me but the story just didn't really seem to go anywhere for me and I just felt like I wasn't very invested in the story. I didn't really know what was going on most of the time. It just seemed like, okay, we've got this mission, we got to defeat these bad guys because they're bad and they're trying to do this. And I just didn't really feel like I cared much about the story or the characters. I feel like one of the problems about the storytelling was that you never really got to see the humans inside of the mechs. And that really kind of dehumanized the story for me. Like in the anime, Neon Genesis Evangelion, which is an extremely emotional story and roller coaster ride of emotions. I feel like that is mainly because you get to see the characters that pilot the mechs. In Armored Core 6, you never really see a single human being ever. There's no humans in this. You wouldn't even know that there are humans piloting the mechs. You would think, oh, these are just completely robotic machines with no one inside. But I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a pilot inside of the mechs. And you never get to see anyone's face or anyone walking around. Or you don't get to exit the mech as a human and walk around the headquarters or the home base or anything. And I feel like this lack of human presence really kind of made the story very dull and boring for me. So unfortunately for that reason I really couldn't get very emotionally invested in the world or the characters or the universe of Armored Core. So I'd have to give the story a 2 out of 10. Now next I was really impressed with the amount of customization you could do to your mech and the sheer amount of weapons and arms and legs and different parts that you could unlock it was just endless like I'd unlock this new weapon I thought surely this must be it and then nope Several levels later, I'm just unlocking another 10 or 15 weapons and shoulder, shoulder, shoulder mounted bazookas and missile pods and laser guns and swords and all this stuff. And it seems really cool at first because you got so much choice. But then after you test out all the different weapons and missile pods, you realize that most of them kind of suck. And there's only a few that are actually really good, like the stun needles or the shotguns or the gatling guns or the songbirds. 
those were my main go-to weapons and every time I got stuck I just switched back to those and when I wanted to have some fun I might experiment with some of the other weapons but they were always kind of lacking in luster compared to my main go-to weapons. So even though you have the ability to do all this customization and there's lots of different parts, I feel like 90% of the parts and weapons I just wouldn't touch because they weren't that great. For example, the reverse joint super agile legs which make you jump and boost really fastly, fast and quickly were cool but then it means that you couldn't really carry much weaponry because you had to take a light load and you couldn't take the missile launchers or the big weapons and you had to choose just crappy assault rifles or the Uzi kind of guns and the damage output when you've got a light build is just so bad it makes it unplayable so I always ended up going back towards my normal heavy build and the tank tracks just make the game so easy because you get nearly 20,000 AP and you can just basically soak up any kind of damage and you don't really have to worry about dying. Like I said before, I found the game to be kind of easy. There was only a few points in the game where I found it really difficult and they were honestly the most enjoyable parts of the game where I was just scratching my head trying to think of a build that could take down this boss. Most of the boss battles were fun, but there was only a few that really got me stuck. Number one, Bautius took me hours to figure out a build that could take him down. And then also, like, the big spider boss took me quite a few attempts to take it down. But they were really fun to fight against. When you're not doing the boss battles, the missions are really boring and dull, and I just feel like you're fighting against all of these trash mechs which just take a couple shots to kill, and there's no challenge. What's the point? They just stand around, they shoot at you, not really doing any damage to you and it takes like one shot from your guns to kill these little trash mech mobs and it just feels like this is a waste of time most of the time if I didn't have to take out the trash mobs I would just fly straight past them. Some of the missions are so stupidly short like there's one mission where you've got four minutes and all you have to do is find out where the wreckages of armored cores are so you can retrieve the data logs. Some missions start and all you have to do is fight some boss that appears and then it ends and it just feels like these missions feel so lazy and so short that there was no point of even having them in the game. Why didn't they just make proper missions that take, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes to finish and there's like a beginning and an end? And then for some reason, a few of the missions had no checkpoints. There's one mission where you got to protect some building. It's got like a shield and a tower and there's enemies coming towards it trying to shoot at it and you got to take out the enemies before they take out the shields and destroy the building. And there's no checkpoints during that entire mission. If accidentally you let some of the trash mobs through and destroy the building, then you have to start the whole thing from the beginning. The OS tuning system seemed pretty cool in the beginning, unlocking the chips so you can unlock more powerful upgrades, but then you realize that it's a very basic and shallow system where basically you're just putting points into whatever weapon you're using. So if you use explosives, you max out the explosives. And then if you want higher defensive, capabilities and you just get the armor stuff or the damage mitigation and then there's some skills in the OS tuning which don't make any sense like manual aiming I don't understand why you'd want manual aiming when you've got automatic aim assist maybe it's like maybe you're really bored of the game and you want to make it harder so you use manual aiming so it just makes the game harder so it's more of a challenge and then there's like the kick thing which I never used because it seemed kind of pointless and the quick turn thing also seemed kind of pointless because I can just turn the camera around pretty quickly anyway. I would have liked a proper skill tree where you could unlock different kind of abilities or skills that affect your weapons like maybe you have the shotgun and then if you specialize into certain skills you can then maybe charge up the shotgun or do like a quick fire but then it reloads longer or something like that that could help customize your playstyle through skills but because the game is not really an RPG game doesn't really have many RPG elements it's purely an action game I guess they didn't want to go for a skill tree. I finished all of the arena bosses and they weren't really much of a challenge either and I did a bit of PvP but it wasn't really my cup of tea. It was okay for a quick laugh but I don't really see myself seriously dedicating a lot of time to trying to become a PvP master. So I feel like the replayability and the value of value for money you get out of the game is not that great. I don't really care about getting S ranks or trying to perfect my score on all of the missions because once I've done the mission I don't really want to go back and replay it because they weren't even that fun anyway. And the game was like £50. I don't really feel like the game was good value for money because it didn't even last me more than a week. It was like a quick weekend game 
couple of days, a bit of fun, messing around with mechs, customizing it and painting it and stuff. But for £50, that seems like not a lot of entertainment in return for that amount of money. I feel like the game should have been just £20. I feel like they kind of got lazy. Like, they made a good core game with good combat mechanics and fun gameplay and, like, a cool idea. But then they didn't flesh it out properly with, like, an open world or actually good missions with a lot of depth. And the game just kind of finishes abruptly and it feels like, oh, that was it? Seriously? So yeah, all I can say is I was kind of disappointed when the game finished and I don't see myself playing NG Plus or NG Plus Plus because I'm kind of done with the game. I feel satisfied. So unfortunately, I would have to give the game a 6.2 out of 10. It's okay, but I don't really feel like I could highly recommend it.